On drop rate is a series where I can only receive an item within its wiki stated rate, but with a twist. If I receive the item before or on its rate, I get to keep everything earned during the episode, including the desired item. However, if I do not end up getting it, I have to forfeit all the loot earned to you guys, the viewers. Let's introduce today's challenge. A new quest, the Defender of Varrock, was just released into Old School RuneScape and with it came a new monster to defeat, the Armored Zombie. These creatures are level 85 combat and have a max hit of only 8 and are by no means a difficult foe. However, they do drop a new item called the Zombie Axe, a battle axe requiring 65 attack to wield and is placed in strength between a Dragon Scimitar and the Abyssal Whip, giving Iron Man primarily but also main accounts a solid melee weapon choice before hitting 85 Slayer. And it has a drop rate of 1 in 800. So let's complete the new quest and defeat up to 800 armored zombies in hopes of receiving the new zombie axe. First things first, we have to complete the new quest, Defender of Varrock, and I actually miss one single requirement for this. What lies below? So let's go ahead and do that first. Oh no, how am I going to beat an old man in a fight? This is a disaster. But in the end, we managed to make it through the fight, and uh, that is the What Below's quest completed for some nice experience as well in the war skill in the game. Look at those! Those are the new NPCs, the Armored Zombies. I will get a better look at them in just a bit after we complete the quest, so let's do that first. Oh, look at this easter egg. They put someone in who had to level from 98 to 99 runecrafting. But there we go, that is the Defender of Varrow completed, 15k smithing, 15k hunter, and now we can actually get into the real grind of the video. It is a multi-area, but you can actually not use a cannon here. I brought it just to show you guys that it says a strange medical force won't let you set up a cannon here. Also, this is the gear I'm going to be using. I'm not entirely sure if it is the best one you can go with, but I've heard the Venator bow is extremely good here. Also, the way I'm getting to the zombies is by using the Lumberyard teleport in my master scroll box, because this is where you get teleported to, and the dungeon is right up here to the north. I'm not sure if it's the fastest, but it definitely works good enough. But let's go ahead and actually start this grind now. We have the kill tracker started, auto retaliate on, and these kills should be very, very quick. You can see how good the Venator bow is here. It just bounces off multiple of them, and racking up 800 KC honestly should take barely no time at all, but I guess we'll time it and see how long it actually takes and that is the first loot of 161 gp and we're already up to two you know as these monsters are primarily in my opinion the focus for iron man because getting an abyssal whip on a main account you can just buy it from the grand exchange but for iron man you have to actually get 80 slayer minimum to then boost with a pie all the way to 85 to try to get your own abyssal whip and these are way more accessible than that and because of that, I kind of judge the loot depending on how good this is for Iron Man, and they do drop a bunch of herbs, and on top of that, also planks, and planks can be kind of tricky to get on an Iron Man. So not only are you going to get a really good melee weapon while doing this grind, you're also going to get some really good supplies. And they seem to be very AFK-able, even for lower tier accounts, because when I ran past here, I saw a lot of people here with lower tier gear setups kind of AFKing it, protect from melee on with dragon scimitars and all that kind of stuff, so seems like a grind you don't have to focus too much on. But we definitely have to do some rebalancing of my supplies. I have to teleport out now. I'm out of food, but we got 85 kills in 8.5 minutes almost exactly. That's a very nice and even number, and that means we're getting roughly 10 kills per minute, which means that with this gear setup, we're getting 600 KC an hour, which is very quick. This grind is going to be over in less than one and a half hours. Oh, look at this guy. This is probably actually a better setup. Full proselyte with magic and blood barrage. Definitely more expensive, but that's kind of the same as greater necreals on a slayer task. Might have to try that. Now, meanwhile, it's true that they do drop some nice stuff for Iron Man. When it comes to monetary value in this, these are not very good. We're nearing 150 KC, and the average drop so far is worth 963 GP. So if you're going here to make money, maybe you can make some from the new weapon, and hopefully we do see one drop. But other than that, you are not really going to get rich from killing these. You know what? I had to give the magic method a try. This is the gear setup I'm using, and we also have a saturated heart boosting us all the way to 112 magic. And I can already see that food is not really going to be a necessity here, but blood barrage is quite expensive. Every single cast is four death runes, four bloods, and one soul rune. So definitely a lot more costly. And with the money that you make here, we are definitely losing money here by quite a bit, probably. But of course, you can get these as slayer tasks, and if you are a bit of a higher tier 
your player and you just want to AFK these and have a chance of getting that tier 65 weapon at the same time, this is probably the prime method of doing it. And of course, you can get clue scrolls from these as well. Unfortunately, I have no idea how rare this is because the drop rate of this on the wiki is unknown at this current point because of this creature being so new. But of course, as always, I will complete these at the end of the grind and open all of them at the same time. Oh, we got it! Let's go! There it is! The Broken Zombie Axe on 344kc. Also a collection log slot. I actually looked through the collection log before, but I couldn't find it on the Slayer tab, so not sure where exactly it is. So if it's not in the Slayer tab, which I assumed it was because the Warped Creatures, the Warped Scepter is here, it's probably in Miscellaneous. Can I find it anywhere here? Yes, there it is. The Broken Zombie Axe at the bottom of it. And it's actually called Broken. You might wonder why. It's because you have to repair this with seven smithing so for all the iron men who actually are going to grind this out you do need 70 smithing to be able to use it at any point we're going to be smithing anything significant i always go to the varrock anvil the classic so let's go ahead and do that right now luckily i have over 70 smithing let's see if we get any smithing experience for this as well Yes, we do. 500, and that is now the repaired, fully equipable zombie axe. One-handed weapon, looks pretty good, honestly. 105 slash, 90 crush, and that juicy 107 strength bonus. Now, the axe is a one-handed weapon, so you can use a defender with it, just like the Abyssal Whip and the Dragon Scimitar, which is most likely the best two weapons to compare this one with, as it should be placed between them. Now, one of the main differences, though, is that the attack speed of the axe is 3 seconds, meanwhile the other two is 2.5. Four. But with no gear, no boosts, no prayer, no nothing. Let's see the max hit of these weapons. Dragon Scimitar is a 24, Abyssal Whip 26, and this Zombie Axe is a 31. That is a substantial difference, but I do think it's supposed to be worse than an Abyssal Whip, but definitely a very good weapon in between. And lastly, before we head over to the GE and see what we can sell the Zombie Axe for, we have a hard clue scroll to finish and open, and that should be the last step for... 68,000 GP, oh wow. And there we go, it sold for 1.6 million, actually closer to 1.7 million, but this is the second day since the Zombies has been released, and on the first day I saw some people sell it for over 4 million. But over time, because this is way easier to obtain than an Abyssal Whip, I think it's going to be placed at least below that in value, meaning probably less than a million in a couple of days. Now before we end the video, I do want to say I have had on drop rate on a bit of a hiatus, as I started my new series going from 0 GP to max cash, but when there is a new grind that's really interesting like the zombies, I do want to jump in and post a video about it as soon as I can. So in the future, you can definitely expect more on drop rates to come out over time, meanwhile working on my current new big series. But I hope to see you guys in my next episode, and until then, take care.